Alright guys, welcome back to the Craftonomical server. We're in Craftonomaville. We're here on the server guys and today we're gonna be freaking getting power. Just look at that. That's cool. That's freaking cool looking. Um, but without further ado guys, we're gonna get into big reactors today. We're gonna make some stupid power and we're gonna do it in the funnest way possible with a big freaking reactor like I had just said before. But anyways guys, let's get crack a lacking. All right, guys, so we are here underneath our base. If you look up there, you see some elevator blocks. Um, where exactly are they again? Oh, I covered them up. That's right. Yep, see, this is where we're at. <laughs> so this is how big we're going to make the reactor for now, anyway. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to need some more casings. Um, so let's look up reactor. Perfect. All right. Now, we can always make more of this. It's not that expensive of a material. So let's go on ahead here, like so. Now we have to do that, so that way we can just coat the bottom with these. There's quite a bit of lag when I'm placing them, because there is a lot. <laughs> so we're also going to do that for the back as well. And probably the sides too. I do have some glass for the front. But like I said, that'll be for the front. So basically, guys, we're just taking these reactor casings, um, which are made of a reactor casing core, which is pretty simple. You just need to make some graphite, which is uh, smelted up graphite dust, which you have to pulverize uh, coal, I do believe. Isn't that how you do it? Let's see. If I, oh, We need to go up one more. Let's test it. So we can go over here to our pulverizer. Throw that there. Wait a second. That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Maybe that one has been disabled. Maybe we'd need to look at... Graphite. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Give me a second, guys. Ha! So, I'm an idiot. All you have to do is just smelt it up. I forgot. <laughs> okay, so we can go ahead and just smelt up a bunch of this. Um, we're not going to be able to actually do all of it, but we can do most of it. So it won't be that bad. Okay. That should be all we need for a bit anyway. Okay, let's get back down here. Now, we're going to go ahead and do the sides as well. And I can go ahead and do that pretty simply. Okay. I am a little late to the party when it comes to um, reactors. So I believe the best way to do this is to actually have them in rows. Now the old method was to have them... Um, back when it was a different mod creator and all of that, it was better to have them um, separate are kind of like a zigzag, so uh, every other one like a checkerboard. But that has since changed since the um, the mod pack has changed itself. Not the same person, so. Okay. I'm going to leave two on each side. I put two, one too many over here. So there and there. Pretty simple. Now, I guess this produces radioactivity or something like that. Don't quite know, but um, from what I've heard, this does produce the most power. Now, I don't have anything to back that up other than I heard it from another member, so um, yeah, that's what we're going off of. So basically, I'm going to bring all these up to the top here, just to below, and then we're going to put these reactor control watts, and these are like tops for them. So I will be right back. I need to craft up uh, quite a bit more of them. I didn't realize how much we were going to use. All right, now we are finishing up all of the reactor fuel rods and the control rods up at the very top. So what these do, guys, they act like a top for that. I think I already explained that to you guys. So I won't go back into it, but first we... Okay, so this is cool and all. You know, this will run pretty good. We need cooling inside. Now, the cool thing is, is we can go ahead and use our endurium over here. And we're going to go ahead and make another portable tank to swap this out with. So while we're using up this one, it's um, making more. So let's let's see about making a 
So you just go recipe. Whoops, missed. Go R for recipe. Hey, okay, portable tank. All right, there it is. Perfect. Should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, now that'll fill up. And it's already full. Sweet. So we can just go and swap them out whenever we're ready. So basically what we got to do here is all of these cracks up here, we got to fill right here with um, the Andurium liquid. So I'm going to get Crackalackin' on that guy. So let's see here. Let me grab my buckets. Uh, and I will be our bees, peeps. Boom. All right, guys, so I've got it all filled up. Why can't I move? Okay, we're moving. Um, got them all filled up now. Uh, there's no open spot where there's no um, resident ender is what we put there. Um, I would like to maybe somehow get a source block there, but I don't really care all that much at the moment. So the important part now is we got to be quick for one. Like so. Okay. So what we need to do is, for one, we need to make uh, just a few more of the reactor casings, just like so. Um, two stacks should be plenty. And then we also need to make one more access port, which is just like so. All right. So we get an input and an output. Um, let's go on down below here. And we'll put the input and output over on, hmm, let's just go ahead and put it right here. So input there, output there, and then actually we'll make this the input, we'll make this the output. So we'll put items into there and take items out. So we'll probably use an ender chest for that since that will probably be the best method for us. Um, and then... Over here, I think we're going to put the power tap, just like so. And that's where we'll take our power out of the system. Now, we have to come back up here and finish off capping off the top area. And do that just like so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera because it's kind of tedious. Whoops, misplaced the block there. No one cares except the people who are neat freaks. And does that block bother you? I'm going to leave it there until I finish recording. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep recording this one clip. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it worked. Ha <laughs> ha. Perfect. Oops, I need that back. <laughs> so, as you can see, it turned into a multi-block structure. There's no longer any of those weird-looking thingamabobbers. Um, but let's look here. Perfect. Okay. So let's go set up the ender chests that we're going to be using. Um, we're going to grab our two diamonds. We're going to get some ender. Ender chest. Perfect. Just like so. Okay. We're using two whites for now. Do we have any lime? I do. Perfect. Okay. So let's go here. And these will be... Our reactor once we'll tell because there's one lime there see no one else no are we not using this channel already perfect so let's go on over here we're going to because it does use uranium by the way it's kind of weird it normally is yellowium but just not today because it doesn't feel like it so all we need is an export bus export perfect and then four speed upgrades one two three four and then one thing of uranium. And then we go like so. Um, actually, we go like this. Speed upgrades, uranium. Okay, so that's pretty quick. It should keep up with our system down there. And so we're going to need to grab some uh, item ducks. Uh, let's see. We don't have any signal ones, so these are going to have to do. Uh, what about some servos? Do we have any? I got one of these. Perfect. So we should just need that. We'll grab this one for the export. And we're going to grab... Do we have any barrels with... That's charcoal, iron. Okay, I think we should be good here. Um, actually, let's get a drawer. Oh... 
Avoid up. Oh, I don't want to avoid upgrade. We're going to have to use a barrel because those are infinite. Tier iron. These aren't. These don't even have any tiers. Um, actually, this one is a star. Perfect. Give it back. Okay. So now that should be okay. And we eventually we might end up recycling the system, uh, but just not for now. Anyway. So item duct. Oops, that's not it. Okay, items are going in there. It's doing it a. St oh my gosh. So it's filling it up now. Perfect. And we're going to need an export, which will go. Oh, I needed to grab another item duct. Item duct. Duck, 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 duck. Okay, perfect. So it comes out of here. And we'll enable that. Okay. Now let's let this bad boy fill up with uranium and we'll be right back. All right, we are 100% full. Let's go ahead and see how much power we can make per tick. All right. Hmm. Auto eject, perfect. Activate reactor. And. Oh my gosh. It's still climbing. How much more is it going to climb? About 170, I'm going to say 5 is where it's going to stop. Yeah, right around there. So 175,000 RF per tick. Not freaking bad, everyone. So we're going to actually use some Draconic Evolution stuff here. Uh, let's see here. At Okay, so these crystal things are going to be our best friend. Let's go ahead and make some oops. Oops. Need to make some of those. Going to need to make some of these. Going to need to make some of these. And then hopefully... Oh, you have to craft them. Actually, that's not bad at all. So just four for four. That's it? Okay, so let's let's go ahead and craft these bad boys up. So we're going to need Wyvern Energy Core, Wavern Core. That's not bad. Okay. So we have the Wyvern Cores. Um, we should have enough of these. Oops, missed. And then some diamonds. Okay. So let's see. Let's go down. Ooh, some lag. Okay. So look here. So it's going to be one, two, three on one side. One, two, three. One, two, three on one side. Okay, perfect. And then it's going to be just one on the other side. Okay. And then three diamonds and a diamond in a wyvern core. So here we go. Oops, hold up. Diamond and a wyvern core, and that should say, Hello, my name is Jeff. Yep, it sure does. So that's going to charge up pretty fast, and this animation never gets old, guys. Ah, freaking love it. Okay. Naragath is on. He probably knows what I'm doing if he can hear it. Perfect. Okay. So if we craft these up like that, perfect. Now we have eight. We've got eight tops. Now this will take care of our power problem. Um, oh my, okay. So, I don't quite remember. I, I don't know if there was a tool from Draconic Evolution. Um, look, uh, axe. Maybe there wasn't. Um, shoot. How do you link them? I forgot. It's like a linking card or something like that. Is it this? That's a block exchanger. No, it's not. Wrong one. Um, oh, is it this? Crystal binder? I don't know, but I'm going to make it. We're going to do it. Okay. So let's see here. We're going to put this. Oops, missed. Put this right on our... 
energy acceptor, we'll put it on this side. Okay, so that's bound, I guess. I don't know how much power this allows me to transfer, but from what I know, it's a lot. Oh, I think I need to click on the next one. So just, oh yes. Okay, there is a line going through. Let's take a look. Do, do we see it anywhere else? Because that would suck if we could see it. Only if you have this out. Perfect. So let's have a look here. Let's turn this bad boy back. Oh, power's already gone. Okay, it is just throwing fuel in there. Holy crap. Okay, and how are we doing with fuel? We've got two, three... Holy crap, this thing is super efficient. Hot. Whoa. How heavily radiate the core higher levels of radiation reduce fuel burnup. 524%. This is like stupid efficient. Okay, but now we're filling up. Okay. This is awesome, guys. So basically, we're basically going to be able to make more power than we can actually use. So we're going to need to come up with some fun stuff to use. But I think next episode, we get into the Draconium um, Reactor. Now, I'm, now, Butcher's got it. Let's go over to his base because I think you guys will like it. And I want to show you guys before the next episode. Let's see. got to make sure I select Butcher's base. I think I missed it already. There it is. Okay. Oops, missed so let's have a look here. He's got his sick base, and he did this on stream, so I'm not going to spoil anything. Okay. So he's got this super sweet reactor. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is sweet looking. I mean, oh, so awesome. We're going to have to fight a lot. Mm, excuse me, I'm so sorry about that. We're going to have to fight a heck ton of ender dragons to do this and i think i'll do a montage next episode but this is how he's running he doesn't have these infused so he's only getting twenty thousand rf per tick out of this so but anyways guys this has been super turtle and i'm gonna wrap up this episode if you guys did like it make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe but guys this has been the super turtle and i'm out peace out bye bye thanks for letting me end in your base butcher ha!